everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Rails Foundation course. And in this video right here, we're going to keep it pretty simple. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to generate a new Rails app and we're going to get it up and running and to the point where, you know, we know that everything's working, the database is working and we can see the first, you know, Rails app page that is generated for you when you generate a new Rails app. Um, and so without any further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be generating an app for uh, a blogging website. So, you know, this is going to be the first app in the Rails Foundation course. We're going to build a total of three apps. This is one of the three. Uh, so what we're going to do now is generate the app. So Rails new, I'm going to call it rightfully. So you can call it whatever you want. Uh, so you can put in your name over there. Uh, I'm going to use the Postgres database. So I'm going to do that. And uh, if you haven't already set up your development environment, I recommend you guys watch our uh, video tutorial, which is available for free on YouTube, uh, that will show you how to set up your development environment uh, so that you can follow along over here just fine. All right, so I'm going to generate the app. And uh, here it is. It's going to do some magic and uh, bundle install. And uh, don't worry about what's going on on the screen. Uh, you know, it may be a lot if you're new to Rails. But... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through you guys through all of what's being generated and we're going to touch every part of every folder and you'll know exactly what's going on the next time you generate a new Rails app. But I just want to get us started so, you know, we have something to look at, you know, we have like the browser giving us some kind of feedback. So we have some kind of feedback loop. And when you have something visual to work with, it's a lot easier to understand concepts. So we're going to make everything very visual. That's the whole point of having videos, right? All right, so the app is now generated. So I'm going to CD into my uh, folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, boot up my application. So Rails S. Actually, before I do that, let me open it up in my text editor. So over here, I have my text editor. I'm going to go to the config database. And what I'm going to do is um, if you have the Postgres app set up, uh, you all you have to do is and use the Postgres user. And what this will do is it'll basically just work right out of the box. Um, so you won't have to do very much. All right. Um, so now before we can boot up our Rails application, we need to create our Rails, um, you know, our Rails database. And I already created mine, but I'm just going to just in case, you know. Um, so what will happen is if, if without the database, if we boot up the application, what you're going to see is um, this happening over here. So if I go to here and I hit localhost, so this is where you would see your Rails app, you're going to get a no database error. So how do we fix that? Well, in the command line, as you saw, I just did a rake db drop. And what that did was it dropped the database because previously I had already generated, but I wanted you, know, you guys to be at the same point, which is you guys probably don't have that database. All right, so what I'm going to do is generate that database. So rake db create. What this is going to do is create the database for us. And the next time we do the Rails server and go into the browser, we are going to see something very different. So I'm going to reload and we're going to see this page here. Welcome aboard. Ahoy, welcome aboard. Well, so if you see this page, it means everything's working. You got Ruby installed. You got, you know, JavaScript runtime installed. Everything is working as it should. Um, so, you know, you, from here on out, you'll be good to go. You'll be good to continue developing the application along with the video. Now, if you don't, if you can't get to this point for whatever reason, uh, give me a shout out. Uh, you know, I'll have my contact information for you guys. For those of you guys who buy the video, uh, you'll be able to reach me through my email and I'll be able to help you out uh, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, without any, uh, going any further, in the next episode, we're going to actually be starting to build our Rails application. Um, see you guys in the next one.